colleague Michael Couture has been at the inquiry listening to everything uh, the Prime Minister has testified about. Mike, good to have you with us. There is a lot to unpack, and I think we can do it in kind of two phases. Uh, the first goes back mm. to 2019, and it's all the allegations surrounding, in particular, uh, now independent MP Han Dong. He was a liberal. There were questions about irregularities, buses of people voting in his nomination race. And today we heard a firsthand account from the prime minister, who has so far kind of dismissed questions from reporters on the issue, a firsthand account from him about how he became aware of those irregularities and why mm. ultimately he made the choice not to overturn the nomination. Yeah, and it was his campaign director at the time, at the time, Jeremy Broadhurst, in 2019, who on a Sunday before the prime minister was getting set to go back out and tour the country, that they met at an airport hangar at a secure area and where they discussed it, where Broadhurst told him about CSIS's information, talking about these buses of uh, Chinese uh, people that may have been bused in to that uh, that riding, Don Valley North, and the concerns that they had with it, uh, and specifically worried about whether or not there was enough information. And uh, that conversation going back and forth with Broadhurst that Trudeau was talking about, saying that uh, Broadhurst shared with him the intelligence services, had shared the concerns that Chinese officials in Canada had been developing plans to possibly engage in interference, mobilizing uh, buses filled with students uh, or uh, Chinese uh, speakers to support Han Dong in the nomination contest. And it was interesting, Vashi, when they talked about the conversation that he had with Broadhurst in uh, probing him a little bit and what that information that CSIS officials had. And in the end, the two of them, um, after talking about that information, decided that there was not enough information at hand to overturn the nomination of Han Dong. Uh, Trudeau could have done that, but again, he didn't feel there was enough as evidence to do that. We also heard earlier on today briefing that Bill Blair got uh, just following the election when he was the Minister of Public Safety and that there were concerns that were highlighted as well. He talked a little bit about that and again uh, there was not enough information to suggest uh, that the integrity of that election in particular and that nomination was affected by it. Yeah, I thought the follow-up question just now, just moments ago, from Justice Ogg was particularly pertinent around that sort of like, mm -hmm. well, did you follow up after the fact to get more information? Because, of course, this person ultimately not only won the nomination, but became the MP for the riding. So I imagine the cross-examination of uh, the Prime Minister will include more on that. The next kind of sub you know, substantive portion of his testimony, Mike, was around the 2021 election and the allegations we have heard around uh, from rather Aaron O'Toole, the former leader of the party, as well as Kenny Chu, who was a candidate for the party and the involvement mm. in their view of the PRC in some tactics that were meant to influence the diaspora communities, particularly in British Columbia. Aaron O'Toole says it could have cost the party between five and nine seats. What stood out to you on what the prime minister said on that issue? Yeah, I think it was interesting in terms of um, how he felt that that all played out and, and certainly uh, talking about some of the briefings that he had gotten following that. And he continued to basically say that, look, in his mind, um, that those two elections, 2019 and 2021, really did um, the integrity of those elections held. I, I think something else that stood out to me, Vashi, was uh, specifically the discussions around how he handles briefings from CSIS. Because, of course, in some of these documents that have been presented in the commission here, we are seeing very clear language uh, that I think a lot of people have rightly pointed to. And some of those leaks that we had heard around those documents that people have pointed to as well, specifically uh, around um, the actual interference um, that we are hearing that China tried to perform in uh, those elections and um, saying that Justin Trudeau is basically saying that, look, the briefings that he got, sometimes, uh, most of the time, it was a conversation. It wasn't like somebody was basically yeah. reading briefing notes to him, but instead uh, they were having a conversation about it. So some of those things that are in those briefing notes maybe weren't mentioned and a lot of times he wasn't able to read the briefing notes or that he preferred to have that kind of a conversation and to get those briefings orally rather than having the time to sit there and read them. Sometimes right. he didn't have it but he said that a lot of time he basically relied on his national yeah. security and intelligence advisor to give him the best of the best or the information that he needed to know. Okay Mike I'm going to leave it there.